Hello and welcome dear diggers. Uh, today I will tell you about automatic refreshing of the game, uh, why it should be done, uh, what happens if you don't do it and I will explain how to do it in the end. Okay, so right now you are you are watching my energy regenerate and believe me this is not because I want to show off or anything, but because uh, I want to show you something uh, in interesting here. So the reason uh, we need automatic refreshing of, in the game uh, is because of a certain uh, mechanic, of a certain way in which the game calculates the energy, right? So let me just show you on uh, on this uh, practical example here. So as you can see, the energy is growing, right, at this uh, speed that you can see here. Uh, so take a take a good look at the figure here, right? It, it's nearing about four thousand five hundred. Right, so now I will refresh the game and you will see what happens. Okay, refreshing now. And okay, so as you can see, uh, as just a second ago, I had uh, slightly below 4,500 energy, and now I have uh, about uh, 1,000 more. Right? You can see it. Right? And I didn't get any energy from friends during that time. And so, what happens? You may ask. Right? Why? Why the jump? As you probably already noticed it yourself if you've been playing uh, en uh, enough, that sometimes after you refresh the game, you have more energy, a lot more energy than previously. Okay, so what is happening here is actually uh, the game is lying to you, <laughs> as crazy as it may sound, right? The game is actually giving you wrong numbers of energy. And this is because the energy here is calculated on the basis of this uh, of this uh, z 0 0.2, 0 0.2 figure, right? Uh, so even though uh, my regeneration speed here is above nine nineteen thousand per hour, uh, the bar will display energy as it as if it was regenerating at a speed of eight eighteen thousand per hour, right? So basically, there is an invisible regeneration speed, and in my case right now, this invisible regeneration speed uh, is 1,634. Right. So, so basically, everything above the threshold, which unlocks another, uh, another point, another sort of decimal point, is will be invisible. So, for example. You 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 unlock uh, one energy every 0 0.4 seconds at 9,000 energy per hour, right? But if you have uh, if you get to 11,000 per hour, your bar will still show energy regenerating at at the pace of 9,000 per hour. So this is uh, this is something inherent to to this mechanic, and uh, it's probably so. Uh, so deeply coded into the game that it's not really easy to change it right for the devs because they probably didn't uh, suspect uh, in the beginning when they were creating the game that the figures will go so high so that's why uh, that's why very often when we refresh our game we will gain more energy we, we will see more energy on our bar uh, and the problem here is once you reach your maximum uh, you will not get this bonus energy. So if you if you don't refresh the game and you reach your maximum capacity, you will lose w whatever energy you would have gained. Right? You should have gained. Right? So for example, right now, if I don't refresh for those 36 minutes that you can see uh, in my uh, in my statistics, uh, I will reach 17,000. Uh, energy, and then I should have more, right? I, I, I in after this 45 minutes 
is up, I should have more than that, but my energy will be capped because of my maximum capacity, and after refreshing, I won't have it, and I won't get this energy. So this is why, uh, and uh, this is why auto refreshing is crucial for higher level players, for players with high energy rates, uh, and those who want to play, uh, who want to step up their game simply. And then there is a second, less important, but, but still good reason to use automatic refreshing uh, for the game. And that is uh, the energy you are getting from your friends. So, I mean this, right? So, what some people might not know is that this energy, the, the amount of energy you can get at one time, is also capped. Right? There is a limit to how much energy you can claim at one time. So, for example, even if if uh, 50 people sent me energy, I won't get all that energy if I click on that notification or refresh the game. Uh, those amounts uh, have actually been changed recently. They have been in, uh, increased, so, so it won't be such a big problem to most players. But still, for example, in Egypt you can claim... Uh, you can claim 2,000 energy at once. In Scandinavia, you can claim uh, 4,000 energy. In China, you can claim 6,000, and in Atlantis, you can claim 8,000, I believe. Right? So basically, once the energy sent to you uh, goes beyond this limit, all the surplus energy will be lost. It will be well. You could even say it. It will be stolen from you. Right, uh, so this mechanic, uh, this limit serves uh, serves the purpose of not allowing people to get too much energy simply. And this was stated by the devs uh, multiple times. They want us to uh, they want us to get the energy mostly from our camp, etc., uh, etc. Et right. Well, however, if we add friends for the game and we want benefits, right? So yeah, so anyway, this is not against any rules. Uh, uh, the devs are aware that people are doing it. Nothing was ever done to block doing this. And actually, they have no uh, power over you refreshing your game. You can refresh your game how much you want, right? So, so basically, refreshing, uh, automatic refreshing, for example, during the night when you are not there, will, re will over sort of... Uh, Ignore this limit, right? Because you will refresh the game, it will be refreshed for you. You will get a chunk of energy, then more people will send the energy to you, and then it will be refreshed again, and so you will be getting, uh, you, will, you will simply get all the energy that people are sending to you, instead of just some, some amount, some limited amount that the devs want to, uh, want to let you get, pretty much, right? Okay, so we already know why. Now let's learn how. How to install, uh, how to add auto refreshing to your browser. So there are certain browsers that have built in auto refreshing, like Maxton, I believe, but well, most people will probably want to use uh, some auto refreshing add on for uh, the Chrome browser, which is the most popular uh, and frankly the best option out there right now. So, I, I will try to show uh, how to install uh, auto-refreshing add-ons for the most popular browser, starting with Chrome, which is the browser of choice for me, too. Right, so we can simply go to uh, Google, uh, right, and, uh, oh, that's a bad address, and just type uh, auto-refresh Chrome, or whatever, right, Go to the Chrome Web Store. See if the first thing that popped up. This is actually the one uh, I am using. So you click here. It gets added to your browser. And you see such small icon here. So you just click on this icon. You open the tab. The tab with the game. Right? You click here. You set, for example, 20 minutes. Right? And start. And you can see the timer going down. So it's as simple as that. In 20 minutes, the page will be refreshed. 
as easy as that. If you leave your PC, uh, if you leave your PC on with this tab open, or you can even switch tabs, right? It will still get refreshed in the background. Uh, so, so, so simply uh, when you are going away, just turn it on. Leave the PC with, with the game open, of course. It, well, some people are often asking if, if the game needs to be open for this to work or if the PC needs to be working. Yes, of course, that's kind of the point. Right, so unfortunately, this will only be possible for people who are not shutting down their uh, computers for the night or for the time when they are away. Right? And this will just refresh this page every 20 minutes. So this will correct this energy bar and this will allow you to claim all the energy incoming from your friends simply right okay so here we are in firefox mozilla firefox now the other most popular browser of choice for people so again we put auto refresh firefox here in google and again the, the official site for mozilla's add-ons appeared so we open Yes, and this is this auto refresh add-on here. I think it's actually done by the same person that the previous one in Chrome. So just install it, done, restart, All right? And we have it installed. So now we just open the game or open any tab. We click at the top, and we here you should you should have the name refreshing here because mine is, mine is in Polish obviously but you will have something like refreshing here and you can choose uh, one of the presets or you can select some custom time to refresh it right? like one minute yeah. uh, of course there are many other add-ons and you can uh, you can choose the one that fits you the most. Uh, I just show, showed you uh, the one that I actually personally use. And like I said, uh, automatic refreshing add-ons are available for for Chrome, for Firefox. It's uh, this feature is actually built in for in the Maxton browser. Uh, yeah, and as for Internal Explorer or Microsoft Edge or whatever the hell this shit is called these days. Uh, there are also applications that automatically refresh your pages in it, but I'm not really sure how, the, how they work because uh, I'm not really using Microsoft's browsers. I mean, why? <laughs> why would I do that if I have Chrome and Firefox, right? Uh, yeah, so that pretty much covers the installation and the use usage of uh, automatic automatic refreshing uh, refreshers All right okay and to wrap it up let me just uh, answer some frequently asked questions about uh, this issue I already told you some some of those but let's just recap everything so do you need to have your computer open or on yes of course you need to have your computer turned on uh, now an another very frequently asked question is whether you need to be uh, in this tab whether this tab needs to be active and this one is actually uh, a bit controversial because normally you shouldn't have to but some of the people have been reporting and I'm among those people actually that sometimes if you uh, if this tab that is automatically refreshed is not open the game will not load completely so it will be safer if you leave the tab as the active one, as the opened one, right, just, just in case, okay? Uh, also people are often asking if this is using a lot of transfer, you know, like people with limited transfer connections, uh, with limited, with data limits, basically, and the answer is no, it shouldn't uh, use too much transfer, because all you're doing is just reloading the game. Right, you're not even downloading the files again if they are not changed, if there's no update. This shouldn't use any transfer at all, almost. You will not notice any problems here. Um, if uh, Also, it, this may be problematic for people who are switching their, uh, their devices on, on which they play. So if you leave, for example, if you leave the auto-refresh at home, and then you go uh, to to work 
and there you will try to access Diggy's Adventure, you will be kicked from the game every 20 minutes, for example, right? Because your PC at home will ref refresh the game and log you in, and then you will you will be kicked because you can only have one instance of the game at a time. So if you are if you want to play, if you want to change devices, if you want to play in in different places, you will have to turn off this auto automatic refreshing, unfortunately. Right, and uh, I'm not sure if there is anything uh, else. Um, yeah, so that pretty much sums it, sums it all up. If you have any questions or doubts, you can ask them below this video, or you can find me on Facebook, uh, as always. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something new uh, uh, through, from this video. Uh, this was Azerate, and thank you for listening to me.